Thank you, Mr. McAllian. And thank you, Mr. Smith, Andrew Smith, Chief Executive of Invoke Care. And indeed, uh, my dear colleague, Mr. Richard Fisher, Dr. Tina Clifton, and members, uh, all other members of the board of this fine organisation. And may I also acknowledge, uh, I'm glad to be with those councillors from local government services. Particularly, I want to say how lovely it is to see so many young Australians here as part of this recognition of life and loving those who may have gone on uh, beyond this earthly life to something else. And youngsters, young musicians from Chatswood Primary, you made me think of my own days when I was singing and playing the violin for the school. So thank you for that. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure everyone here agrees with me. But But I want to say I'm delighted to have been invited to share in this opening of a very sensitive, a very sensitive facility. Certainly architecturally, it is simple and beautiful. And of course the grounds as they've been planned and tended over the years with of course my favourite flowers and probably all of yours too, are the cultivated flowers of roses and camellias set in what must be one of the most heavenly sites in, uh, in Sydney at least. Here in the city of a metropolis of five million people, one looks out there to that endless scene of growth, our gum trees, and what it means to be Australian. And therefore it's such a fitting development that when we come to say goodbye to our loved ones, so often full of grief, especially if they're less than 100 years old, we certainly uh, need to be able to reflect, not just to rush away, go back home miles away, turn on the kettle and wait for guests to arrive and friends and family. To be able to share that in an intimate setting here of such dignity. And of course with, uh, and I don't uh, apologise for saying this, the spirits, the memories of so many other fine Australians who've served their community and uh, who've gone on to another section of, well, non-existence, but a spiritual life. And what is wonderful, that it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what your religion is, whether you have no religion, this is a place of welcome tranquility and certainly a place from which loved ones, relatives and families can go <coughs> away and feel that they have acknowledged their love to the very best of their ability in that final mortal uh, saying goodbye parting. Uh, grief and loss certainly are experiences we are all going to have if we haven't experienced it yet. And of course, the way we can negotiate that period and be able to say goodbye and return to sit and reflect, should we wish to, is extremely important in our mental health. I say that because I come from a field of medicine where emotions are extremely important. And I know from my own point of view, where members of my family, my ancestors are buried, ancestors are buried before this beautiful place existed. They're in a very beautiful spot by the sea at Waverley. And from time to time on birthdays, <laughs> anniversaries, I go out there, look at the vault with the names from my great-grandmother onwards. And uh, my parents are there, my beloved cousins who are younger than I. And to be able to reflect and even speak to them in that sort of setting. And this is the equivalent, but more modern, perhaps even more beautifully planned, is a great, great advantage to our society. And I want to compliment Invocare and the architect, the sensitivity of the levels of this, this facility, 
all of it sits with such harmony in the beautiful God-given environment that surrounds us. So it's really with uh, a great sense of appreciation and on behalf of all the families in the future, might I say, who will come to this facility at a time of mourning, I'd like to say thank you on their behalf as the representative of this state. And uh, I know that uh, you will all feel, those of you who use this facility, glad that it does exist. And uh, there's that enveloping, kindly, nurturing, dignified, and indeed simple setting where one's feelings are not intruded upon. So again, those of you who've been involved in this, uh, yes, very progressive thinking and planning, I'd like to say thank you. And I have been asked to unveil the plaque too, have I not? And, uh, and that will be very much part of the formal acknowledgement that we, the citizens of Sydney, are very pleased to acknowledge this day as the inauguration of a sensitive step in the way we are allowed to mourn our loved ones. Thank you.